All right, Shalom. I want to start off this video by giving all praises, glory, and the, and the highest honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, to honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone, which are the men that rule well, men who taught us his truth. <clears throat> Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect, as always. And the Lord willing, the title of this exhortation or this, this lesson will be This Place is an Enchantment, talking about here in America. And the inspiration from it came from just being at the plantation, all right, and thinking about what can I do after work. You know, to, to um, make the time go by faster, so to speak, right, for entertainment. And the majority of things that came to mind were things that we can't do on the Sabbath. You know, we have to keep the Sabbath holy, as holy as we possibly can. You know, no physical activity, things like that, right? And that's why I titled it This Place is an Enchantment, because the only reason we think carnally like that is because of America. What do we get fed here? You know? Um, you know, please your flesh. That's what we get fed here in America. All right. And that's the wrong way. All right. Romans 8 and 6. For to be carnally minded is death. I'm going to let the scriptures speak. You know, I was going to just rant, but I decided instead, no, nah, let me just read the scriptures. I don't, you know, I don't got to make this 30 minutes long. It says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Now, let's let's touch on this uh, point by point. It says, for to be carnally minded is death. To be carnally minded is to be worldly, you know, because when it says to be spiritually minded is life and peace, because to be spiritual, and I've, I've been saying this a lot often, and, and I keep saying it because I want to drill it into my own head as well. You know, to be spiritual just means to be scriptural, right? So when you're scriptural, when you're being scriptural, it's life and peace, because within the scriptures is contained everlasting life and wisdom, knowledge and understanding, which you can use to bring nothing but peace into your life even when it's in turmoil you still have peace because you have that wisdom right you have that wisdom and know how to get out of your situation now you know you just got to suffer if it's something that is time consuming you just got to suffer it things like that right well that's why this um <clears throat> so like, yeah, that's why uh to be spiritual minded is life and peace okay but being carnally minded is death because if you're carnal if you handle situations carnally all the time it's never going to be a positive outcome every single time, every single chance you get. No, man, it's going to be negative at some point. You know, if you got somebody messing with you at work and you handle it carnally, you can get fired, which will then put a burden on you, put a burden on the brotherhood, you know, because then they got to help you out. Right. It's going to put more of a burden on your spirit because now you're stressed out looking for job. You know, that's why being carnally minded is death, man. Right. You act carnal minded with the wrong individual, he can put you under underground, man. You know? But what? When you're spiritual, it's life and peace. It says because the carnal mind is enmity or enmity. Yeah, enmity against the most high. Right. That means against. Let's see, let's get that word in uh Romans 8. Romans 8 and 7 was it? And enmity. Yep. Now we got to look the word up because it only gave me the same word. It's a good tip for you brothers out there. Enmity. It's en enmity. Hostile feeling, rivalry, mal. I knew it. Because um, it sounds like enemy. You know? Enmity. Oh, wow. I've been pronouncing it wrong all these years. You learn something new every day. See, look, it goes back to enemy. You know? Enmity. I've been saying enmity this whole time. It's enmity. Feeling hostile, hostile feeling, rivalry, malice. Right? So basically, a carnal mind is like being an enemy to the most high. Yeah. And that makes sense because your carnal, the scripture, even Apostle Paul spoke about in Romans, the seventh chapter, about how within my flesh is no good thing. Roughly paraphrasing. You know, I'm just quoting what the, uh, the elder Apostle Paul has said, right? And, um, what? A carnal mind is en enmity. Is against the most high. He said that within my flesh lies no good thing. That's heavy, man. Because what? The carnal mind, the carnal mind, there's nothing good in it. It's only it only does wickedness. The only thing that proceeds out of the carnal mind is wickedness. You know, when you were in the world, what did you do when you was just home all day? Nothing. Nothing positive, right? When you was in the world. But now that you're in the truth, you know, your pastimes are more different. You know, you act like a different person, right? You know, this is 
and let me let me keep reading. The carnal mind is enmity enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High. Neither indeed can be right, because your flesh, can, you can only do right for so long before you go off. You know, right? So it says. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High, right? Because we're not in the flesh, so to speak, like that, right? It's so like it. We're we're in the flesh, obviously, but we're. We've learned what it means to be in the spirit, which to, you know, like I, like I said, to be spiritual just means to be scriptural. You know, we know how to please Yahweh Bashim Shai because we have that unction, that, that anointing spiritually. And we know right from wrong, you know, we're learning right from wrong and we can be in the spirit. You see, that's why it's, you know, you have a better week with your videos if you're constantly reading, praying. Uh, studying and watching videos, listening to lessons, they always spark up. I'll say, I said it in one of my videos prior, that when you just open up the scriptures and just sit there and look through the different translations, read, you could even read an old, like not old, but like a precept you read when you first came in, and it'll spark up a lesson, you know? Let's be spiritual, you just use your time up doing spiritual things, and you're pleasing your Bashem Yahashai, man, okay? Let me get Galatians 5 and 16, because what? Like I titled it, this place is an enchantment because it, it just makes you be carnal. That's all this place can make you do. That's all this place can give you, carnality. This place, man, it's either, it's either, um, it, hey man, this place will feed your flesh well. You know, you could either let it feed your flesh or you let it inspire you to be a uh, uh, righteous. You know, and when I say inspire. You know, seeing the way, because it just means in spirit. You know, I, I mean, use it as inspiration to do the right thing. Because you see the wickedness, you know, you know, and reject it and do the right thing, man. Galatians 5 and 16. This I say, and walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walking in the spirit just means what? Do what the scriptures say to do. What is a spiritual answer to every uh, every single problem you have in front of you? And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. Right? Because they're fighting. That's that battle within us. Our flesh fights our, our, our spirit every single day, man. When you wake up in the morning, you know, and, and you on your way to work, you might be thinking, man, I ain't ready in a minute. And the flesh will be like, oh, you'll be all right. Ain't nothing. But then your spirit's like, nah, that ain't true. You know, that's the battle. You know, like, nah, I got to do more. That's a good thing. That's the Spirit of the Lord on you. It says, And these are contrary the one to the others. And you know the nature of your flesh is wicked. The nature of your flesh is please it, please it, please it. And don't worry about nothing else. Just please your flesh. But your spirit knows. Yo, I, want to, I need to read, man. I want to read. That's how you know the Spirit of the Lord is on you. If you Even if you haven't done it, you're still thinking like, Damn, I got I to gotta read. I got to do something. And that fear is there. That's good. It says, So that... Ye cannot do the things that ye would, but if ye, but if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law, right? Because if we're led under the Spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai, we'll be all right, you know? Uh, ultimately, what? Like it says in Romans 8, there's no condemnation to them that believe in Yahweh. Like, yeah, I don't know if that, I almost hit the, I accidentally hit the stop button. I don't know if it kept recording, but, uh, you know, Salakia, so like, hey. That's all I wanted to get anyway, but, you know, like like it, like you said in verse 18, uh, oh, I had mentioned Romans 8 at the top. There's therefore now no condemnation to them. Let's get that and end it off. Uh, Romans 8. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach Yahweh who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Yeah, that's why you're not under the law. You're not condemned if you walk... Not after the flesh, but after the spirit. What does it mean after the spirit? What will do what the scriptures say to do? Stay in the scriptures and do that. That's what that means, man. All right. There's no some. It's not super mystical as as you would like it to be. You know, in a way, it kind of is. But you know, that's neither here nor there right now. The point is that what? As long as you're walk, because that's what this. That's what they mean in Galatians five and eighteen. If you are led of the spirit, you're not under the law, because you're not under the law because you have a shy your if you're in the spirit, right, you're you're keeping the law of faith and you're covered by Hamashiach Yahushai. All right. And Lord willing, man, this was edifying. I didn't really want to make this long. I just wanted to speak on this. This was just on my spirit to speak on. 
you know, just being in America is vexing, man. You know, we can never be perfect in our works. You know, we bet we can try to do the best that we can, man. We can give the Lord our all and just hope that it's enough. All right. And if you are giving your all, then hey, have a good confidence, man. You know, so with that, call a lawyer. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakagu, Dash, the Bodhisattva, my eldest and apostles, great millstone, which are the men that rule well and who taught us this truth. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Shalom.